Welcome back to day two of Brick Fair, Virginia. So I started the day by heading back to my table and setting everything up, which was pretty much just turning the lights back on. With it being day two and more vendors being open, I wanted to walk around and see if I can find any good deals, custom printed stuff, and maybe some rare figures. I came across in this bin the Deadpool helicopter for $20 just by itself, and I already have the Deadpool figure at home, but I figured it was time to go search for the other two figures so I can complete the set. There were so many amazing figures throughout the building, but I came across this table right here that had all kinds of minifigures throughout it, ranging from various different themes. I finally found both the Wolverine and the Magneto for about a total of $50, and with my Deadpool minifigure back home, I practically got this 100 plus set for almost $70. I then went back to the table to look for more exclusive figures, and I came across these three right here. The Queen Amidala, Darth Malgus, and the UCS Boba Fett with the arm and leg printing. These are some really cool and rare figures, and I'm glad I found them. I then went around to look for some custom printed stuff, and there's a lot of cool and unique designs here that are printed on official LEGO pieces. I did pick up a few, and I'll show them in a later video. But now it was time to go to the yard sale. This was pretty much just people selling their private collections and just older things that they don't want anymore. There was a lot of cool stuff, but to be honest, in my opinion, I thought a lot of it was a little bit more overpriced than it should have been. I then picked up this Batman Bricktober pack for about $30, which I thought was decently priced. And towards the end of the night, it all just kind of died down as people were coming and going and setting up their displays for the weekend. About 11 o'clock, there wasn't really much left for me to do, so I decided to pack up and go home. 